With the addition of the shootout, knowing how to play the breakaway properly is more important than ever. In this section, we are going to explore a set sequence of movements that should become your routine in order to control all breakaway scenarios. The first element of your routine will be a strong challenge two feet from the top of your crease. Depending on the shooter's speed, you will need to get at least two short, explosive backward C-cuts to maintain a stick gap between you and the shooter. After your first two cuts, you will want to glide back, making minor lateral adjustments to remain square to the puck. The flow is essential as it allows you to wait out the player as he attempts all of his creative stick handling moves. As the player approaches the midpoint between the crease and the hash marks, you will want half a stick gap apart so the shot is not an option. I have defined this area as the decision making zone. When you reach this zone, you must hold it, which will force the shooter to make one final move. If he shoots, you are still high enough to make a great blocking save. If he dekes, you are close enough to execute a powerful slide above the post on either side. When applied properly, this sequence will deny the best players in the game. Breakaways vary so much that many mistakes can occur. Obviously, two big breakaway mistakes are goalies coming out too far and getting beat on the deke, or goalies backing in too much and getting beat on the shot. Another less obvious mistake is when goalies forget the flow and continuously C-cut backwards. This leads to off-balance saves or sliding into the back of the net. Another mistake that we have to mention is when goalies slide to the trapper side, they often fail to lead with their stick creating a hole between the legs for an easy goal. On breakaways, patience and gap control are the name of the game. You need to outweigh the player until you get to the decision-making zone. Going down too early or backing in too much is sure to lead to a goal. When a player comes in on a breakaway from the wing, you don't need to challenge as high compared to when they are coming straight on. Also, when C-cutting, you need to use the outside leg first to bring you towards the middle of the net and the second cut is more of a short pivot. A short inside leg pivot will provide a quick rotation allowing an early slide so the player never gets ahead of you. 